we've heard some new classification criteria proposed by the uh, ULAR and by the ACR. Can you just tell us why those criteria have been developed? Well, there's no diagnostic test for systemic sclerosis. Therefore, we use classification criteria to classify patients in order to get them in clinical studies. The uh, currently most used uh, classification criteria, they are outdated more or less. Uh, they were developed in the uh, 1980s and they lack enough sensitivity. And since 1980, there are some new developments. We know more about the disease. We know more about autoantibodies. And for instance, caparoscopy is a, uh, a tool that we use now for diagnosing uh, systemic sclerosis. So with the new criteria, how did you go about developing them? What steps? How did you start to develop the criteria? We started approximately five years ago uh, when we got the uh, permission of the ACR and ULR and we selected four um, experts both from Europe and Northern America and the first thing we did was item collection. We wanted to have as much features of the disease as possible. So we did two Delphi exercises uh, from the USTAR and SCTC and we collected 168 items. That was the easiest part of the game. And then we had to reduce the items to a workable set of classification criteria. And that was a difficult uh, part of the job. And what criteria did you ultimately end up with? At the end of the uh, procedure, we uh, ended up with one single criterion that got nine points because they all get ranked. And that is skin from the fingers and extending to proximal of the MCP joints. That got uh, a ranking of nine, so a score of nine. And that means that this patient can be classified as uh, having systemic sclerosis. Then there are other features such as, uh, such as spirodactyly, telangiectasia, autoantibodies for nose phenomenon, and they get lesser scores. So you have to have several features to get the uh, number of nine, and then you can also be classified as having systemic sclerosis. And how have the criteria been tested in, a, in, in patients? We have tested these criteria in a validation cohort that were approximately 200 patients uh, that were prospectively collected from databases in uh, uh, the Northern America and uh, Europe and also uh, 200 controls and we tested those criteria in, in that validation cohort and it turned out that the sensitivity and specificity was more than 90%. And today there was also a uh, presentation of a Swiss group and they tested these criteria in their group of patients and they came more or less to the same results. So what next for the criteria? What's the next step? The next step what we are going to do is that we are trying to, to use those data to further subclassify systemic sclerosis in perhaps a limited and a diffuse disease classification. Mm -hmm.